everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Some serious pride on the line in this contest as these two divisional rivals take the field together for the first time this season. Almost a playoff atmosphere surrounding the game between these two bitter opponents. It's the Browns going up against the Bengals. Now let's get you up to Paul Brown Stadium. Here's Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Larry, it's the NFL on EA Sports, and there you get a look at Paul Brown Stadium on the banks of the Ohio River in Cincinnati. Tonight, we finish off week six with a good Monday nighter between the Cleveland Browns and the Cincinnati Bengals. Hi again, everyone. I'm Brandon Gordon to my left, Charles Davis. And Charles, you focus on this Bengal team entering play. They come in feeling good after back-to-back -back victories. And last week, they put together a three-touchdown victory and were never challenged in that game. Let's see if they have a little bit of a letdown here. Meanwhile, for the Browns here, they've come in on a nice run of recent form, four wins out of five. And they looked awfully good last week and came away with a two-touchdown victory. They did have a few reasons for concern defensively, but all in all, they'll take a repeat here if they could get it. Set to go now in week six of the NFL season, and we are underway on EA Sports. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. Here come the Bengals now to take over, and they'll be led out by their quarterback now in his third season in the league. is the tally on first down that brings up second and five and a lot of the weight of this offense falls on the shoulders of the running back that's because the offense knows if they give him any openings any opportunities he can turn it into a big play at any time second down following the run Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. So the offense has it first and 10. to the trash. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. And the offense there, the O-line, everybody really on offense, they were just manhandled at the point of attack. Yeah, you could pretty much call them all out, couldn't you? And <laughs> Almost by name, right? That was a very tough sequence for the offensive line. But how about that defensive front creating a new line of scrimmage and creating a lost yardage possibility? And hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. So they get half of what they needed. It'll be third and six upcoming. And the defense searches for one more stop here after the run on second down. And on third down, the Browns going to go with a nickel set. They'll set up to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. The Bengals bring out their punter now. As the first drive of the game stalls out, he's on to punt. And a great job here. This is going to turn out to be a beauty. This is marked down at about the three-yard line. And tough starting field position here. They go play action here on first down. Under pressure and down he goes in the end zone. And that's a safety.
After the safety, remember, they also need to give up the football, and here's the free kick. Now this is fielded in the end zone. So here comes the Browns offense with a long field ahead. And led out by their veteran quarterback. He's been around a while. They don't celebrate birthdays for him. They just cut him up, see how many rings he's got around the middle. He has been in the league a long time. Now a handoff here to his running back. So he got free of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. And the quarterback, he's got some big threats at wideout. And they seem to get bigger all the time, don't they, Brandon? Every time I look out and watch a game, we're getting these bigger, more athletic, acrobatic receivers. We have some today. They'll give it to him right up the gun. And he'll take this up only to about his 18-yard line. Call it a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave him with a third and about five. And it's possible that today the most important group could be the linebackers. Yeah, the second level, as we like to call them, right? Defensive front has to control things, but the linebackers, they do more than clean up. They help create big plays. And the offense in that middle ground here on third down. Third and five. Four down, four down. Hurry up, here we go. Ah! On play action, they'll throw. And he can't quite intercept it. Zone coverage, free safety was there. Couldn't... to take the field here as they have the football in the final minute of this first quarter. Now a play fake here on first down. Looking deep downfield. And is this intercepted? It is. It's intercepted. A great read and it's picked off. And hit start of this next possession the score seven nothing and on the outside they're playing press coverage and on the ground they go with a running back and he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory well, how many times do we say in this game that speed kills and it does it in so many different ways in this case you got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary, and that led to a really nice game. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run. Big time pass. A one-two combination. Looks pretty good. How about that? Let's see, if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. All defenders get tired of hearing about their lack of hands and why they're playing defense instead of offense. But in this situation, it was the hands that made the play. Batting the ball away on an attempted touchdown pass. Excellent job. Way to knock it down. It'll be a pickup of five, and that leaves him with five more. Third and five now. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. And that's going to be caught for a Browns touchdown. Their dangerous wide receiver, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Browns get a score closer. And he's a little bit on the shorter side as a receiver. Maybe sometimes for the defense, tough to find the little guys, right? Yeah, sometimes they get lost in the traffic, but usually what it means is that rather than just winning with height, So the foot 
ball will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. It's always tough for the guys throwing the football when they think they've got a completion and the ball's almost there, and then someone sneaks a hand or two in and bats it away. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. And he comes back with one complete. The reception good for seven. It's third down. And a nickel look here for the Bengals as they try to defend this on third. Gun. They'll look to throw, and he will find his man on the outside. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it, and he's got his man on the out route. It's a gain of 14 there, and that'll be good for a Cleveland first. First down coming there on the intermediate passing play. That's been a point of emphasis, they told us in practice, using those medium routes to keep the defense off balance. And it wasn't just them telling us. We got to watch them practice it and work on it because they've been trying to fine-tune it and get it right before this game. And I think they have to be happy with the result. So second and ten here. They'll look to throw again. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. And the line to gain here is the 37 on third down. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. He'll drop to throw. And he will find his man on the outside. It goes as a gain of six, and it's a first down. That was a nice completion on an out route, and those types of plays are the result of arm strength by the quarterback and timing by the receiver. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. He's going to look deep down the field, and this is caught. Touchdown, Cleveland. Their dangerous wide receiver, his first touchdown on the year. And the Browns are back with it, a score. I think everyone in the league talks about finishing, don't they? Doesn't matter whether it's a quarter, a half, a game, a series, whatever. But they're finishing the first half in fine style, putting that one in the end zone. They did, and they didn't leave much time on the clock either. Well done. offense ready to get back out there as they'll have the football to strike the third quarter. They'll give it to him right up the gut. Oh, he faked it with a juke. Now he's got some room. 30, 10, and all the way in. Touchdown, Cleveland. A big play there. His sixth touchdown of the season. And the Browns have taken the lead. And with his speed, if he just finds the slightest crease, he can take it the distance like he did there. How about the leverage up front? Offensive line out leveraging the defensive front to create that space, that crease that he was looking for. And once he hits open field, This offense will take over, and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage, look defensively. And to give this time to the tailback. And he'll get only a couple up to the 22. Well, that last run makes this a 100-yard night. I love the way he's hit the holes. He's been quick, he's been decisive, and he's been a whole lot of fun to watch. They'll give it to him right up the gut. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. Really good, skillful, tough running throughout this contest. Picked up first down after first down. He's got to have a nickname, doesn't he? How about the human first down machine? I think that fits. 
And he'll give it here to his running back. And unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And he's got his man on the out route. And he's got the first down as he's up to the 45-yard line. And there's another completion to the tight end. And let's face it, it is hard to overthrow a six-foot, six-inch target. <laughs> it is indeed. Quarterbacks like their speed guys. They like that huge six-six target that they've got in him. They really do. And it reminds me of what one great tight end told me once. He told his quarterback, just make sure you throw it up there. You know, kind of like put it up in the top shelf where the kids can't get it. We always like to talk about defense in terms of levels. First level defensive line, second level linebackers, third level defensive backs. On that run, that was what we call a first level run, and it was stopped by a second level player. And nowhere really to go there. He'll take this up just shy of midfield. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. Well, praise has to go to the guys in the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game? And he will find his man on the outside. And now timeout is whistled as it appears there's a Brown shaken up on the play. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. And they'll go with a ground attack here. And he's going to cut it back left here. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. So back-to-back -back games here of great production. And just, you know, his cuts, they're so quick last weekend this week. That comes from confidence, I think. He understands what the defense is trying to do. But I think he has so much belief in his offensive line. That he's just saying, the block's going to be there. I'm not worried about it. And we saw that last week. In fact, they were so good last week on the flight home. I actually plugged in the game and watched the offensive line play one more time. I was so impressed by them. And they're carrying it over to this week. And, of course, we got big time runner behind them. That's a pretty good combination. Doesn't hurt. Now back to throw. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. Did you see that route the way that I did? I yep. thought he was trying to get deep Yeah, that first. wasn't the first option. No, not the, it came off of that guy, the deep guy, and came underneath on the drag, completed it very well. And to give this time to the tailback. And he's going to find his way forward here for a modest gain. Five yards on the carry, good pickup on first down. And this seemingly endless drive continues. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. It's another one that keeps them moving forward. Well, they brought in an extra defensive back here, so probably not expecting a run on third and three. A good call. And he's able to pick up the first down before he's tackled right at the 10. One quarter remains here as we wrap up the week on a Monday night. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now in Cincinnati. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Ooh, long drive, the defense just cannot seem to catch a break and get off the field. 
So the chain gang now done for the drive ball on the 10, first and goal. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. A pickup of four on first down, it'll be second and goal. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more oh, no, people like stacked up in the line like of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. They'll give it to him right up the gun. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. <laughs> I have to laugh a little bit because he actually handed it off. I thought the two touchdown passes he's thrown in this one already, he'd go ahead and fling and try and get a third one. Yeah, now from this spot on third down, he's got to throw it here. Yeah, I don't think there's any question of that. And he takes this one in for a Brown score. A great effort there with his second touchdown of the game, number seven on the year. And the Browns add on to their lead. But they decided to run it in and got it done on third and goal. A lot of times, that's a passing play. And the kicker just has to come out for the PAT. He can breathe a sigh of relief as well, right? Although I don't know if he's really breathing a sigh of relief. We drop you into the start of this next possession. The score, 7 0. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And he's got his man on the out route. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. Okay, so now the question, how did he get that wide open? Well, we both know that he shouldn't because from the time they handed out scouting reports before this game, he was circled, starred, everything. Find him, cover him. But sometimes you can scheme a guy open. You put the receivers in a bunch. Maybe you move some motion. Maybe you put them on the backside of a formation, and all of a sudden you've got a better matchup. Every now and then, the offensive guys, they figure a way to get him open, even with everyone keeping eyes on him. And that's certainly a guy they want to keep trying to scheme open. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll set up a third down. Third down and five. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're likely keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take, puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. And now inside the red zone, the offense will operate. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? So frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. It's interesting because when I'm watching college football and I'm evaluating guys for the draft now, my list of fullbacks, pure fullbacks, it's a very short list. I'm probably evaluating more punters and kickers now than I am fullbacks. But it doesn't matter what you call the position. It's who you put there. And there we saw completion. Another good run for him. What else is new? That will put him right at 150 yards for the game. So he's really made his presence felt in this one. Calling no gain that time. And they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here from the right hash, and this one just a chippy. And the 13-year man puts it through, and that will stretch the lead up to 13. They'll look to throw here on first down. They find some open field here. Give them 11 on the game there, and it'll give the Bengals a first down. And they'll try to squeeze in one more play here before the two-minute warning. They'll come out in the pistol. They'll look to throw now on first down. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. 
And he'll get it down here to the 43. Time for a break. We'll come back to wrap this one up after this. So the Bengals in possession of the football here as we get your reset. Uh, let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 15 yards there on the catch and run. They're going to hurry back to the line now. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. Give him 13 on the pick up there. And the Bengals are going to have a first down. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here, this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. I hope I don't sound too rah-rah on that one, but that's the exact right throw. Either your receiver gets it or no one gets it. Give him a lot of credit for being really precise with it. Got rid of it. No one got it. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. And he just chucked that one out of bounds, out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. Here comes the seventh play now of this drive as this is third and ten. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. And they put it in the end zone, which was job one. Now they have to convert. And then it's decision time, isn't it? Yeah, that's true. This is what... And we drop you into the start of this next possession. The score, 7-0. Looks like he'll throw here. He's going to wind up and air it out. And this is caught. And that could seal it. It's a touchdown. Well, you know he can be explosive, and he's ultra explosive there on the fly route. And you know how many times we've talked to coaches and we've had quoted back to us, well, you know something? When you execute really well, it doesn't matter if they know it's coming or not. Well, sometimes athleticism beats you as well. He just took off and went. And And now a timeout called defensively by the Browns. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. From deep in their own territory, they look to throw. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. A great read, and it's picked off. And his guys will take over. 25-yard line. This spot in the fourth quarter with that deficit had to throw the football. Unfortunately, there's the risk of big turnover. And you know you're going to be throwing against nickel, dime, all sorts of exotic defenses, but you have to do it anyway. Ordinarily, you might want to run the football a little bit, try and get them out of it. But as you noted, this time of the game, this point on the clock, had to throw it. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. And they were able to punch it in the end zone last time. They'll be looking to do that again here for the defense. Obviously, they'll be looking to stop them from punching it back in the end zone. It always is punch counter punch, isn't it? And which team has the advantage? And now the Bengal defense here calling a timeout. And now following that timeout, the defense back out onto the field. They'll give it to him right up the gun. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. And now the Bengals are going to call another timeout. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. A play action fake. They'll look to throw. And a quick throw here. That's complete. A solid pickup of 13 sets him up first and goal. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence. And that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. First and goal from the eight. They'll give it to him right up the gut. And they'll get him down here at about the five-yard line. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. 
That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. They'll give it to him right up the gun. And he's in. Touchdown, Browns. A great play there. His first touchdown on the year. And the Browns take advantage of field position on the turnover to cash this one in. And to me, that touchdown allows you to start grinning widely on your sideline. I think they pretty much locked this one away. Yeah, that's the clincher, the proverbial icing on the cake, if you will. Now Coons on to add the extra point. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Coons on now to kick this one away following the score. Fielded about a yard deep. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. Now this Bengals offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just went. And he's taken down. This will be a Brown sack. It'll be a loss of seven on the sack, and it brings up second. And, and now the Browns are going to take another timeout. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. He couldn't get away. He'll wind up losing a dozen yards, a 12-yard loss, and it brings up third. Now hang on here. Timeout called. Timeout called by the defense. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. Got to be careful here. Backed up this deep on third down. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. And that one was knocked away, and I think the defender's going to be a little upset with themselves. They made the play on the football, but that one felt like a forced pass by the quarterback. Thought he had someone open. He really wasn't. Maybe an example of having too much confidence in his receiver that no matter what, I'm going to throw it to him. And that was a play made by the defense, and it could have been a bigger one. Look at the dance of the juke! Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feeling like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for the Browns, their strong start to the year continues as they're up to 5-1. And, and they'll get another road date next week as their opponents will be the San Diego Chargers. Meanwhile, for the Bengals, the loss here will move them back to 500 at 3-3. Three and, three. and they'll be at home next week for a date with the Seattle Seahawks. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. From Cincinnati, good night, everybody.